The universe has infinite power, he can control all, everything in the world cannot be separated from him, including you and I are no exception. This force is called the law of attraction, the universe can give you everything you can't imagine. If you want to use this power to change your life, let it bring you wealth, happiness, health, positivity, optimism, hope, love and so on. Watch Change Your Life Action, the YouTube channel, which allows you to get everything you want, watch immediately. Remember to subscribe to YouTube channel. It's best to click on this bell-shaped icon, so that you're the first to receive a new video. It can make a perfect change in your life. Let's start watching now, today's title is Mirror Soul Meaning, Twin Flames Stages and Signs You've undoubtedly heard of the concept of soulmates, and have perhaps even daydreamed about finding yours. Nevertheless, you may also have dismissed the concept and think it is an implausible fantasy and settled for a relationship that merely feels comfortable. The reality is that not only do soulmates exist, but it's possible to form even deeper connections. Experts call these matches twin flames. While twin flame relationships still face hardships and do not always last forever, they represent an important chance for happiness and growth. So, what exactly is a twin flame? How do you know if you have encountered your mirror soul? In this guide, we'll explain the nature of a twin flame, and outline the most common signs that you have this type of bond with someone in your life. Next, we'll explore the seven distinct twin flame stages that you're likely to experience in any twin flame relationship. Plus, consider what these stages will mean for you and your match. What is a twin flame? Sometimes discussed in terms of a mirror soul or soul connection, a twin flame is the other half of your soul. It is theorized that a soul can split into two after ascending to a high frequency. Thereafter, the soul lands in two different bodies. If you compare a twin flame versus soulmate, it's important to note that a soulmate is someone who is made from the same kind of energy as you, but who has never existed in fusion with you. So, although soulmate connections are highly significant, an encounter with a twin flame is on another level entirely. Usually, this will lead to romance. However, it can also manifest in the form of an intense friendship. We think we meet someone with our eyes. But we actually meet them with our soul. Mimi Novic if you have a twin flame, you are fated to meet this person at some point in your life journey. The two of you will be pulled together like magnets. You will know when you've connected with this person because you'll immediately experience a sense of recognition. Many people describe an uncanny sense of having known their twin flame all their lives. When you encounter the person who carries the other half of your energy, it can create a profound and life-altering sense of wholeness. Your relationship will naturally be extremely intense because twin flames are mirrors of one another. This person will not only provide a sense of wholeness, they will also elevate your self-knowledge, including knowledge of your flaws. Consequently, there's a potential for conflict as well as happiness. Rest assured that it is possible to have a happy, healthy relationship with your twin flame. However, this is only possible if you can learn to love yourself, as your twin flame is part of you. This love must be honest and unconditional. Otherwise, a part of you will always be driven to reject your twin flame. Most common twin flame symptoms. While the above summary of a twin flame will help you get a general sense of what to look out for, there are also more specific indicators that you've encountered your other half. The most common twin flame signs are as follows, intuitively knowing what the other person is doing, feeling, or thinking about. Plus, you find that they can detect the same things about you. Sharing many of the same interests, values, hobbies, and preferences. For example, your twin flame probably has a lot of books in your favorite genre. Similarly, you likely gravitate towards the same food as well. Often having the same thoughts or emotions at the same time, even if you're in different places. When you're together in person, this may result in you saying the same thing at almost the exact same moment. Feeling a strong physical pull to touch and be close, whether in a romantic or platonic setting. 
having the same dreams at night, and frequently appearing in each other's dreams. Sometimes your dreams will only overlap in theme, but the core message and feeling will be similar. Feeling like you can easily communicate without speaking out loud. A simple glance will often be enough to tell you what your twin flame thinks about what's going on around you. Understanding complex or hidden parts of each other. This can be uncomfortable and confronting, but it can also be deeply liberating and validating. Sharing some of the same vulnerabilities and weaknesses. You may see some of your old faults in your twin flame, or have some of your present difficulties highlighted by the way this person behaves. Feeling like it's safe and natural to be your authentic self around this person. For example, even if you're normally shy, a twin flame will quickly make you feel comfortable enough to just be you. 7 Twin Flames Stages Meeting a twin flame is a special, life-altering moment. However, it's only the beginning of what is in store for both of you. Encountering one another kick-starts a dynamic new part of your life, one that will facilitate growth, inspire change and challenge you to fully accept yourself. Think of encountering your twin flame as the first step on a journey. We'll explore each of the twin flame stages in turn, and look at the connection between twin flame symptoms and each of these crucial stages. Some are primarily associated with wonderful experiences while others can be emotionally arduous, but all of them are necessary parts of encountering the other half of yourself. There are seven major twin flame steps to the process. Nonetheless, be aware that you may go through them at a slow or faster rate than other people will. Stage 1. The search. The search stage involves a strong sense of yearning and an acute awareness that something is lacking in your life. Even if you've never really thought about soulmates and twin flames before, this is the stage at which you begin to believe that there really is a perfect match out there for you. In all likelihood, you'll doubt this feeling at first, you may feel unsure about what you should do with it, but at the deepest level, you will find it impossible to shake the conviction that you will meet the one. The search stage is also partly about preparing your life for the incoming arrival of your twin flame, even though you may not know why you are doing this. For example, you may start a journal, engage in therapy, or work to find closure after past relationships. On an unconscious level, you know that all of these things are necessary if you are to welcome your twin flame. Stage 2. The Awakening. As noted above in the discussion of soulmate signs, you tend to just know when you've encountered your twin flame. This second, awakening stage is where you physically meet, and the awareness of your compatibility hits you head on. This will often be a chance encounter that is full of coincidences and little signs that your meeting was destined to take place. Sometimes, you won't be together for very long, but even brief contact is enough to make you aware that something special is happening. It's also worth noting that the awakening can take place in a dream, meaning that you'd meet your twin flame in the dreamscape before you ever cross paths in real life. Regardless of how you meet, you will be shaken by the intensity of the bond you feel. You may feel intoxicated by it, and find that all of your waking moments are occupied by thoughts of this person. Stage 3. The Test. The test stage of a twin flame experience is defined by trying to understand your relationship with this other person. It is all about establishing boundaries, testing your limitations, and moving past the purely blissful experience of initially falling in love. This stage will only occur once you've had enough time to enjoy a honeymoon phase. Plus, this stage is crucial if you are going to have a more meaningful, long-term relationship. For example, it is at this point that you will negotiate what your future will look like, and will begin to notice what may constitute obstacles to that future. Although you are destined to know and love each other, you will still engage in conflicts, in the same way that before you met your twin flame, you engaged in conflict with other parts of yourself. Whether and how you resolve these conflicts, will define whether you'll be able to stay together. Stage 4. The Crisis. While twin flame love can be euphoric, it also inevitably involves a crisis stage. While this is often unpleasant, the good news is that it can also catalyze a deeper, more stable bond in the longer term. This stage involves significant anxiety and worries about your bond with your twin flame, and the crisis can be just about anything. 
it may be related to grief, betrayal, struggles with self-love or any number of other things that put pressure on your connection with your twin flame. In spite of the supernatural compatibility of twin flames, this is often a point at which the two people decide to separate, a process that is extra painful given that it involves giving up a part of yourself. However, if you can get through the next few stages, you will emerge stronger than ever before. Stage 5. The running or chasing stage. No matter what form the crisis stage takes, it is always followed by a running or chasing stage. You may be in either role, and you and your twin flame may switch back and forward between the two roles. This stage revolves around one twin flame distancing themselves, often out of fear of confronting the level of intimacy that the two of you are capable of experiencing. The twin in this role will be in pain and will feel very defensive and resistant. Meanwhile, the other twin flame will give chase, believing that the bond is worth fighting for and working on. This stage can only end up when the running twin stops trying to get away, and the chasing twin stops trying to push. Often, the end of this stage is characterized by both twin flames realizing that there are forces at work beyond their control. Stage 6. The Surrender. In the surrender stage, both of you will start to give up on a previous need to control your relationship. In this context, surrendering isn't about giving up on your connection, but rather about accepting that neither of you can escape from destiny. This can be a positive realization that releases you both from past anxieties and allows you to better live in the moment, trusting that the universe will lead you to where you need to go. Do note that it's only possible to progress through the surrender stage if both of you work on the issues that led to the crisis and the running, chasing stages. For many people, the core issue here relates to the fact that twin flames are mirrors. So, often, the things you will need to work through are the negative feelings you have about yourself, which are reflected back to you in the eyes of your twin. Stage 7. The Reunion and Joining. When you and your twin flame move on to the reunion stage, you'll have a sense of relief at the fact that balance is being restored. In going through the previous, challenging stages, you'll have learned a lot about yourselves and about the potential attached to the unique kind of love you have found. For some twin flames, this reunion will be physical in nature. For example, the two of you may finally come back to the same place, agreeing to share a home, or finally physically consummating your bond. Irrespective of the particular form the reunion takes, it carries with it a sense of peace, acceptance and reciprocal understanding. If you can weather the more tumultuous parts of your journey, twin flame energy inevitably leads both parties to this joining stage. After the reunion, the hard work is over, all you need to do now is live, enjoying the sense of completeness that can only be found in each other's companionship. Do you want your life to be better and better? Do you want your finances to be stable? Do you want to find an ideal lover? I believe that you always want to have both career and love. Have you found solution yet? We already have the answer for you. All the answers are for you. Click on the link in the description below my video. Click here, show more. To see more details description. All you need is here. Subscribe to our channel, you'll be the first to receive the latest video, and click on the link in the description below the video to find your own answer. I believe the valuable answer will change your life. That's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment. If you find it interesting, bye, and see you again in the next videos.